Hey, welcome back. My name is Sushant Sutish and I am your instructor for this Managing Microsoft Teams examination series. In this lesson, we are going to learn about Manage Meeting Policies and Settings. In many organizations, Teams admins must control the features of meetings which the users within their organizations are scheduling. Many features are controlled by creating and managing meeting policies, which are then assigned to users. You can manage meeting policies within the Teams Admin Center or by using Windows PowerShell. Meeting policies can be applied in three different ways, per organizer, per user, and per organizer and per user. In the per organizer mode, all meeting participants inherit the policy of the organizer. In the per user mode, only the per user policy applies to restrict certain features for the organizer and or meeting participants. Per organizer and per user, certain features are restricted for meeting participants based on their policy and the organizer's policy. Let's go and find out how to create a new meeting policy. I am in my Teams Admin Center. On the left-hand navigation pane, you can go to Meetings and find Meeting Policies there. You can click on Add to create a new meeting policy. Enter your meeting policy name. Under General, you have four options. Allow meeting, allow meet now in channels, allow the Outlook add-in, allow channel meeting scheduling, and allow scheduling private meetings. Then you have settings for your audio video, content sharing, and participants and guests as well. Microsoft Teams provides meeting settings that determine whether anonymous users can join Teams meeting, customize meeting customize meeting invitations, and if you want to enable quality of service. If you change any of these meeting settings, the changes will be applied to all team meetings. Some of the meeting settings are participants, email invitation, and network settings. Let me, go, let me quickly go and show you where to find these meeting settings. Under Teams Admin Center, within meetings, you can go to meeting settings. This is where you can find settings for participants, email invitation, and network settings. Participants, with this option, you define whether anonymous participants can join a meeting. With email invitation, if your organization has specific meeting needs and requirements concerning the meeting invitation, you can customize them here. If you are using quality of service, to prioritize network traffic, you can enable QoS and set port ranges for each type of media traffic. Now that we have learned about meeting settings, in the next video, we're going to learn about what are Microsoft Teams live events. So I will see you on the next one. Till then, take care.